All right, we're back. True School University Worldwide Cypher, right here for you. I'm your man, Kurt Nice. Original hip-hop style music talk and culture, right here on ShadesVideo.com. All right, now, again, we have a very special guest on the phone breaking down some, some very high science for you. Now, let's just clarify a few things. First of all, um, let's, let's get into why first before you get back deeper into the, the whole discussion. Let's just get back into why you want to bring this information to the um, hip hop community and your uh, affiliation with the hip hop community and why you call yourself a, a, a metaphysician and how we got in contact. Let's start right there. But then once you, once you go back into it, ex explain the difference between a colloidal and a solution too. But first, go back into the, the metaphysics and why um, it's important to hip-hop. Oh, oh, absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, this, this, of course, is for young and old, especially you young cats, man, that are out there wilding and stuff. It's important that you know this information, first of all, because we don't have health insurance, most of us. Okay. Second of all, and, and, and now this is just my opinion, but your health is everything. This includes the physical, psychological, spiritual, emotional, etc. But what what we're dealing with is information that can actually save your life, you know, without costing you, you know, a whole bunch of money. You see, so it's important that we know about the natural alternatives that that were given to us by the Creator. You know, mm -hmm. we. We don't need all of the crazy antibiotics, you know, to kill viruses or to kill bacteria. We, we, we need to look within ourselves. We need to look within nature to find the solutions because I guarantee you they're there. And, well, I'm a better physician because <laughs> it's, to say the least, what I was born to be. I'll, I'll tell y'all a little story, a uh, short story. When I was about five years old, my granddad uh, held me in his mouth, and I never forget the look of his face. I, I guess now, uh, when I look back on it, he knew that he was about to die, and he was, he was, you know, he was at peace. A few days later, he passed away. They buried him on Christmas Eve. That night. As I laid in my bed with my older brother, my grandmother was in the room and my little sister was in the room. His spirit walked through the door and sat on my bed and had, and had a can of Budweiser in his head, believe it or not. And uh, he gave me this look as to say, this is what killed me. Wow. You don't go here. And ever since then, you know, I carried that with me. And whether I wanted to or not, I could see it to the higher dimensions. And thank God there were teachers, real teachers, like uh, my teacher, uh, Miss, Miss Navajo, in the sixth grade, who literally sat me down and taught me how to write raps. Okay, literally. And I had teachers like that that actually gave a damn. But I, all the while, I could see the creator throughout nature. And of course, this... Uh, led me to question certain things, kind of like Tupac was saying. I, I don't have sympathy for those that are afraid of mystery, mm. okay? I, I I decided to question, I mean, I, I knew something that there had to be more here, and, and, and I'll just leave it at that. I, mm. I question, you see what I mean? I, I, I practice, you know, and study, you know, not just study, but, but I practice as well, but yeah, that, that's pretty much my answer. All right. And, and as far as me, uh, uh, I was going through the uh, hip hop, uh, the gospel of hip hop, and the temple of hip hop uh, uh, pages. And, uh, you know, which, which, I, which I've done a lot. And uh, I came across, you know, Kurt's information, so I decided to give a call. Mm -hmm. And I wanted Kurt to know, you know, where, you know, what basically pretty much what, what I know, 
Mm. And it's one of those processes where, you know, it has to be a gradual thing. Mm. Uh, because if I lay it all out on y'all at once, man, mm. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's going to be pretty heavy. And I, I think y'all can handle it. Yeah. But I don't want to overwhelm you. And uh, earlier when I spoke, you can hear it in my voice. I was very, very anxious. You know, now I'm, I'm, I'm calm down. I'm, I'm still anxious, <laughs> but I'm calm. All right, all right. <laughs> All right, so let check this out. Like, let's get back into the actual um, properties that you're talking about that um, Silver Solution has, and just to um, get back into that. Now, there's a way of it's, it's not distilling, but there's a way of creating a Silver Solution with a generator that you're familiar with, right? But as you get back into that, just just tell us again the difference between um, a colloidal and a solution, because that's important when, when, in terms of what people might see on the internet. When they, when they pull up colloidal silver, they're gonna see the blue guy. You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna, that, they're gonna see that video of the blue guy. So explain the difference between a colloidal and a solution, and how the generator is important in, 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 dis, in distilling or creating the solution. Yeah, you still there? Natural health food store asked them for colonial silver, and you're going to see 
that they sell this stuff for basically ten dollars an ounce. And all it is is distilled water with silver particles in it. And you're paying ten dollars an ounce, please. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I think that's a complete disservice to the people, even though it's it's a good product. Now with silver solution though, it's it's far superior. It's up to three hundred and twenty five times more effective. If at the University of, of uh Texas, Austin, the Texas Longhorns, they use silver solution to kill the AIDS virus, to kill HIV in three different preparations in 2006. Don't take my word, look it up. And then ask yourself, why the hell does nobody in Texas know about this? I mean, we're in Texas. What's happened in Texas? And I have spoke to one person in Texas outside of the university that knows this stuff. Now, 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 now what kind of power would you do that? What kind of power could silence this or silence the little black box that I was telling you about that was invented in New York in which this black box All right. is a demo scientist? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you, before you get into that, before you get into that, let, let's 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 take another quick little break, and then we're gonna get into actually, you know, you know, speak a little bit more specifically about how there's a a, a generator process that creates silver solution, and then we'll also get into the black box that you was telling me about. All right, but let's take a quick little break so that we can get reset right here on True School University Worldwide Site for Sundays. All right. I'm your man, Curtin ICE, and this is Original Hip Hop Style Talk and Culture right here on ShadesRadio.com. All right. 